In the upcoming videos, I will present you with some new features and functions you can use with the Fractrade trading bot. Now, for those who are not familiar with this program, Fractrade is an open source trading bot built with Python that can assist you with automatic trading cryptocurrencies on a multitude of exchanges. You can create your own algorithm, uh, simple or very advanced, and let the bot do the trading for you. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. Now in this video I will demonstrate how you can connect your trading bot to the Bybit exchange. And officially you could already connect to Bybit for a while, but from version 2024.9 the developers announced that this exchange is now officially supported, which is great news of course. But before I continue, first warning, because trading cryptocurrencies is very risky and you can potentially lose all your money. The use of a trading bot has certain advantages and will prevent some psychological aspects like FOMOing, revenge trading, wandering off from your original strategy, or taking profits too soon. But the hard part is to find the right trading algorithm that fits your risk appetite, pairs to trade, and managing your expectations to earn a quick buck super fast. It's actually quite hard work to find the correct algorithm, backtest it, forward test it, and if all seems to go well, carefully trade with real money and have the patience to let the bot do the hard work for you. So after having said all this, let's see how we can connect the bot to the exchange. If you have tested a trading algorithm extensively and you think you are ready to do some real trading on the Bybit exchange, you first have to have an account of course. Now if you do not have an account yet, then you can use my affiliate link to create one and at the same time get additional benefits like earning free tether if you deposit money and do some trades. There are also lots of other benefits as well like free airdrops of crypto, so I don't see any reason to not use this link and earn some additional income for free. After you have signed up with the link and verified yourself with the KYC procedure, you are all set up for the next step in this process. It's important to execute the level 1 KYC process, otherwise you will not be able to deposit money or do some trading on the exchange. First, you'll have to choose if you want to use your main account for your trading bot, or prefer to use a sub account so that you can split manual investing and bot trading over different accounts. You can even use multiple sub accounts and different trading bots with separate strategies for this, like train trading strategies, mean reversion strategies, and others if you like. Now my personal preference is to use a separate sub-account for bot trading, because it also adds additional security benefits as well. First of all, you will not have to expose your complete exchange account funds to one single trading bot, and second, when in the worst possible case your bot server gets hacked and your API keys are exposed, only the bot funds are in danger of getting drained. And you should always remember that risk management and security should be your number one priority. After you have created your account through the affiliate link, you will end up in the overview page that might look something like this. This is also dependent on the location where you live in, because in my case it's the Netherlands and you will see the screen uh, looking here. Now continue to click on your account button at the top right of the screen and in the menu that appears you will see an option called create sub account. Now we get a choice between a standard sub account and a custodial trading sub account. You should choose the standard sub account here. The next thing to do is to choose a name for the sub-account and the account types. In my case I will give the sub-account the name for which it is created, and the account type will be a unified trading account. And I will also give it a password for extra security. Now after pressing the confirm button we get the following overview screen. On the right side here there are a couple of options that we can choose from. And we can now switch to the account, transfer funds to it, or open the settings. The settings option will give you the possibilities to freeze the account, delete it, do some login management, or a forced logout. With the transfer option, we have the possibility to transfer crypto from our main account to this sub account. However, you can only do this if you have finished the level 1 verification and also have some funds on your main account. The additional benefit of uh, using my affiliate link is here that you can attain the free money and then you can use this to trade with the trading bot. Now I do have some money on my account, so I will put USDT on the bot account next. Let's now switch to the sub account and configure its settings so that we can make use of it uh, with the trading bot. The first thing we'll have to do here is to add a multi-factor authentication, because without setting the MFA we cannot create the API key later on. 
Let's go to Account and Security and configure the Google two-factor authentication first. Click on Settings here and then follow the rest of the procedure. Once we have added the two-factor authentication to this account, it's time to create the API key. On the sub-account main screen, click on API Management for creating the new API key and secret. Now click on the Create New Key button on the top left side of this window. This time we get another choice. Do we want to use the system generated API keys or do we want to generate the API keys ourselves? For this example, I will choose the system generated versions. And if you rather create your own keys here, click on the second option. Now there are several choices to be made in the create new key screen. Choose the following options for a working trading bot API key. Select API transaction instead of connect to third party applications because the third party application options actually create connections to specific uh, trading server providers like 3 commas, Ardos, Aljo, Gene, Beanbot and many more. And the next thing to do is to name the API key. Here you should name the API key to something that's relatable to the trading bot you will use. And then we'll choose the read write key permissions because uh, these permissions will give you the opportunity to query order info, submit and cancel orders with the bot. We'll also configure the only IPs with permissions granted are allowed to access the open API. And here you should enter the IP address of your server. And this way only your server has access to this API key of Bybit. And finally, we should check the box in front of trade under your standard account. You do not need to check any of the other boxes in the assets section. Now it could be that this field is different for other people who are outside the Netherlands because I'm restricted by Dutch regulations and have limited trading options here. But if you followed my procedure and have configured the API key settings, you should click on the submit button and then a two-factor authentication will pop up. And after the correct code has been answered, all the API information appears that you have to use for your bot. Again, save this information in a secure place because you will see all this information only once. Otherwise, you will have to redefine a completely new key next time. So, assuming that you have carefully saved the API key and secret somewhere secure, it's time to add it to the configuration file of the Fractrade trading bot. Now open your created config.json file and enter the API key and secret on the respective place in the configuration file under the exchange section. The final step here is to configure the trading bot to do real live trading with actual funds that are added to the trading bot sub account. This setting is located at the top of the config.json file and here we have to change the line dry run true to dry run false. In other words, we do not want to use the forward testing capability anymore, but instead want to do actual live trading with the bot and playtime is over. Now it is time to start or restart the trading bot server. In this demonstration, I'm using the following command to start real trading. In your case, the command can look different because of a different config name or location and strategy name. And it can also be that you use a Docker container for your bot. In that case, refer to the commands to restart the bot with Docker in all these cases, I assume that you already know how to start or restart your bot. If you watch the logs on your screen and it looks like this, then everything should be working fine. Especially watch for the line that says that the run mode is set to live. Because this indicates that the bot is in live trading mode. Now if there are any errors appearing, it is time for troubleshooting. Check the API key and secret for correctness and the correct rights on the Bybit platform. Any other errors should be solved by consulting the internet, the Fractrade site or the GitHub issues list. In any case, at this point you are seriously trading with real money and hopefully you use a well-tested algorithm uh, that you have confidence in and is profitable over time. Now, because at this moment your bot should have access to the funds that you have on the account, you can also check the account to see if there is any action going on. Maybe it could be that the bot already has found a trading opportunity and that you already have some other crypto on your account balance. Also, if you configured your bot to use a web interface, then you can open this to see the bot status too. Here it is live trading and you can see this on the general tab. Also, the tradable balance of your trading bot is viewable in the balance tab in the dashboard. At this point, you are a true algorithmic trader that uses an automatic trading bot to watch over the markets day and night. No trade will be missed and no opportunity left behind.
For those people who are just beginning in this field and everything shown here is a little bit over your head or went too fast, I recently published a book for you where I explain everything about starting in the field of automatic trading with a trading bot. In this book you can find information about what algorithmic trading actually is, what crypto is, how to build your own trading bot and algorithm, how to test it and interpret the backtests, and how to compare strategies like I always do in my strategy comparison videos. I also have an information section about connecting to the exchange. This is the book I wished I had when I was starting out in this field. It didn't exist then, but it does now. The book is available on Amazon through this link or by searching on Dutch Crypto Dad in the search bar. I hope you like it and please leave a review for others so that they know that this book helped you out. For me this is the end of this video, I hope you learned something valuable from it and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.